doing another Jeffree Star makeup tutorial using the brand new flamethrower that has come out this month. I literally got this in the mail yesterday and I was like, that's it. I'm This is my next tutorial, 100%. Basically, this look is going to be a Halloween kind of candy corn makeup tutorial. If you get what I mean, you'll understand where I'm coming from when I do my eye makeup. I've already got my foundation on. I haven't got like concealer or powder or anything. I am so excited to use this, so let's get started. All right, so basically I fake tanned, still on my hands, and I'm using a darker foundation. I'm freaking out. <laughs> this is so weird using a foundation that's just not my color. So this is a medium. Ah! Um, this is my mum's foundation. She doesn't like this. She thinks that this makes her look really wrinkly and gross. So good one, Kat Von D, well done. What are you doing? To conceal and contour and everything like that, I'm just using this today, which is my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, concealer thing. Ooh. Literally, guys, oh my god, I had a pizza. This is how lactose intolerant I am. I literally had a look at my pizza and I got instant diarrhea. Like, that's how intense it is, you know? Like, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Um, sheer, oh, what is this called? Oh god, it doesn't even say. What is this? High definition under eye setting powder. Taking this magic dust. Putting it under my eye. Oh my god, Mia has been such a little bitch lately. She's been so bitchy. Oh my god, she's, Mia's turning 13 in December, December 8th. Save the date, because that's when Mia becomes a teenager. That's when we all need to back off. Um, yeah, I'm actually so surprised just talking back to mum and dad. Um, just being a little rude mofo. And it's like, wow, who are you? Like, who do you think you are? Like, cool, you've got armpit hair, but you don't have to be rude about it. Like, far out. All right, now I'm going to set my face like concrete using... Is there like a... Where's my darker one? I've got a darker face powder, but it's... I don't know where it is. Um, fresh and flawless. I'm using Breakup by Makeup Geek with this beautiful fan brush. What is this? Contour fan brush. That's perfect because I am about to contour. So... Oh my god. I watched the Get Ready With Me with Jeffrey, Nikki and Manny. I just want Manny and Nikki and Jeffrey to be my best bloody friends. Honestly, like, that is goals. Like, when I saw that, I was like, you guys are just friendship goals. Oh, my God. If Nikki, like, knew who I was, bye. See ya. Bye. Literally got a blood test for my family lineage and it came back saying that I'm related to Wolverine. Look at this dirty ass brush. The risks. So what we're going to be doing is we're using um, Frappe um, by Makeup Geek. And it, we're going to put it in the crease, just like right above the crease. Like ever so slight. With... Colourpop's Exit in white. I think they've stopped making this. I have no idea why. Like, I literally cannot fathom why that they have stopped doing this because this is literally, like, the best thing ever because I can't find anything else which is, like, this great. Um, unless you guys can, let me know. But honestly, I love this. And I'm nearly out of it, so that's great. What we're going to do is we're going to get this and we're going to put it all over the lid and the inner eye corner, like over here. Get what I'm saying? Put it all over. You can go under your eye as well, like it doesn't really matter. We're taking Lemon Drop by Makeup Geek, and we are putting it right in the bloody middle 
of our eyelid like this. Nick Minute, we're going to be taking my, this is my favourite shade at the moment, Morocco, um, which is also by Makeup Geek. Get all that colour off. And then we're going to put that right next to here and overlapping it a little bit. Get the yellow and go under here to match this as well. And also, I was thinking about doing this, but I'm not going to do it. Um, you could also put a black wing on it, and that would look pretty cool. But, I mean, once I put eyelashes on and everything, I think the whole look will balance itself out anyway. And also, I want this look to be, you know, as simple as possible for you guys, because who doesn't love a simple makeup look, you know? Like, might as well just be as easy as pause. Alright, guys, I've got something to say here, okay? So basically, my mum, every time I do a tutorial, I finish up and my makeup is on the floor because I'm coming back to clean it later. But since my mum has got severe OCD, she just takes everything and throws all my makeup in this like washing basket, even though it's not for washing, but it's literally a basket. All my makeup spills everywhere. I've got, also I've got other crap in this box and oh my God, I can't find my bloody... Lash glue. And it's all because of her. She just won't give me a chance to clean up. And I say to her, Mum, I'm about to clean up. Don't touch my stuff because I'm about to clean it. She goes, okay, no, she doesn't bloody listen. She goes in and tidies everything. And I'm like, Mum, let me be an adult for once. Let me clean my crap up. So, sorry guys, we're not going to be putting false eyelashes on because Mum has thrown out my glue but don't worry because I've got more glue coming in the mail but oh my god she is just hopeless sometimes I have to hide my my SD cards because she thinks that it's just rubbish and once when this is so sad I've got like a baby tape of me of me like learning to sit up and me um doing drumming and me talking and me being on my cot and stuff and um one night, mum and dad went out and she was like, oh my god, we need to tape, tape the apprentice. So what does she do? Grabs my tape and over tapes literally my entire childhood with Donald Trump going, you're fired. Really? Like, really mum? Like, honestly? She just does not give a flying crap. My mum has got no chill whatsoever. Okay, well this is as false as my eyelashes are going to bloody get. I'm going to be using my new NYX um, blush in Sublime. No, Ethereal Sublime. Don't know. It's this. It was $2.50 online, so. And I'm going to be taking this um, NYX Roll-On Shimmer. It is literally the most craziest thing you're ever going to see in your life. I told you. side of your face and then we're gonna oh yeah the other day someone said to me are you transgender because you have got such a hairy mo on your face so I said to them I don't know if you're trying to offend me saying you know transgender is a negative thing because my best friend is transgender and I love like it doesn't offend me people going are you transgender because it's like that doesn't, it just doesn't offend me sort of thing. Like if someone said to me, oh, are you lesbian? It doesn't really offend me because it's like, it's just a question. I, I mean, it could offend some people, but like to me, it's just like, oh, you're just asking a question and you're asking if I'm lesbian. But yeah, I was like, they said, yeah, are you transgender? Because look at your mustache. And I'm just like, I'm not, but thank you for pointing out that I've got facial hair. Like, I'm sorry. I'm on medication that makes my hair grow really, really fast, hence why I've got such thick eyebrows. Um, it's like a side effect of the medicine and stuff. 
So I always have to do the like near like wax off strip stuff on my mo. But like I know that I'm not just the only one. There's so many other girls that like girls get facial hair. Like just get over it. So um, she basically told me I need to shave my mo. But yeah, apparently it's a big issue. I, it doesn't help that I've got really dark hair anyway. So yeah, but um, yeah, so that's my story. Yeah, so I got asked if I was on testosterone. So I don't know. Now we're going to be putting on flamethrower. Woo! Oh my god, I'm so bloody excited. Let's just zoom in so you can see the mo. How's it going? Um, oh my god, wait till you... Oh my god. Nah, nah. Sorry, Jeffrey, I'm done. Goodbye. This is honestly such an awesome colour and I really think that should be in your collection. Remember, I'm not sponsored by him. I bloody wish I was, but I'm not. Yeah, this is just purely my opinion and this is absolutely amazing. But yeah, this is basically the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. We've got plenty more tutorials to go, so I hope that you stick around for that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope to see you all again very, very soon. Say hi to your mum for me. I love your work. And all i got to say now is... Stay groovy. See you later, guys. Bye.